Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm unboxing some miniatures from Shein. I'm starting off with this set of six wine bottles. These are look really, really realistic and they're really good size for one sixth dolls, such as Barbie and Cindy, Rainbow High, those sort of dolls. We get six all different labels on them, really realistic and authentic looking. And we got them for one pound and five pence. All prices today are in Great British Pound Sterling. My next item today, if I can get this bag open, is this really cute candelabra. This reminds me of something that would have been in my granny's house. She had these, I think they were, hers were in silver. They used to be a really cool table center or even just an ornament on the mantelpiece. And this really brings back memories. It would be a really cool retro accessory for your dollhouse. And this came in priced at one pound and 89 pence. Next up, we have a set of succulents or cacti, whatever you want to call them. So we have this lovely green one in a black pot. Our other pots are terracotta. We have a purpley colored succulent. We have a darker green and a pinky colored one. So we got the set of four for one pound and 26 pence. Again, just really realistic accessories for around the diorama scenes really really cute next up we have oh this is really really lovely i really love this so we got a wooden toolbox and it comes complete with tools this is really really cool the wee box is made from wood it has eight compartments inside and it's really quite strongly made it's nice and sturdy so in this separate wee bag, we have the tools, which are made from a combination of plastic and metal. Let's get it open here. Okay, so we have eight tools. We have a screwdriver, a little wrench, a hammer. We have an adjustable wrench, another hammer, a little, what is this, a saw, a little saw. And we have some wire cutters or pliers. And these actually, these actually open and shut. It's amazing that they're actually functional and yet they're so tiny. And we have a set of scissors or again, wire cutters. And these open and close too, that is amazing. So we get eight tools in all. And this whole set came for three pounds and 15 pence. And the tools fit in to the wee sections on the toolbox. So this would be really cute if you had a handy man or handy woman amongst your dolls, or they were just gonna do a bit of maintenance or fixing. There's good weight to these tools as well, by the way. Really good quality and well-made. And perfect little decoration in the garage or maybe a man cave in your doll scene. Add another dimension of realism, really cute. Next up, we have this batch of glass bottles with little cork tops. Now, these bottles that you get are normally just the normal regular shape, but I like the shape of these ones. They look like ones that you would do experiments with in a science class. So they'd make really nice ornaments if you filled them with glitter or colored water. And they would also be really good in a school scene for doing science experiments. So we got a set of 10 of these for two pounds and they all come with little cork lids. Staying with bottles, I got this set of coloured bottles. These are plastic rather than glass. And we have various shapes and sizes and colours. I like things like this for um, accessorising doll scenes and making things look realistic. So these could pass as perfume bottles or lotions or drink bottles. You could print labels out for them if you wanted to. 
So as I said, that was a set of 10 and they came for just 84 pence. So less than a pound and we get 10 of these and these are just gorgeous. So yes, I did get two sets. <laughs> Next up, I have this little set of accessories that would be really cool in a kitchen sink. It is a little metal hook set with kitchen utensils that hang from it. So you normally see them hanging above a cooker or an oven in a kitchen. And this came in priced at £1.68. We get the hook and we got four utensils to hang on there. We have a nice little spoon. We have a strainer spoon and we have a couple of lifters. So again, adding that bit of realistic detail to your doll scene. So I'm going to hang this above the cooker in my doll kitchen. Really cute. Here we have a floral garland. I got this for maybe doing something to do with my Easter crafts and then I've sort of run out of time. We get nice green leaves with rose flowers of different colours and some of them are just budding. And this little piece is made of plastic, it's flexible and it was priced at £1.58, sorry £1.05 and it'd be nice in a garden scene. So next up I have a wooden shelf which came in priced at £2.73. So it did say one twelfth scale on the listing so it, in some ways it's too small for a Barbie scale which are one sixth scale. However it depends on what way you're going to use it. If you wanted it to, to be used as a floor standing unit then yes it's too small. But I was thinking on a kitchen counter to be used as a mini unit on top of the kitchen counter and therefore it'll be perfect size for that. So it's made of wood, it's completely painted white, it has three little drawers at the bottom. It's nice and sturdy, has four feet on the bottom, the drawers open and close so you can fit some more accessories in there, maybe the cutlery and things like that. And we can display some little drawers on the shelves. So yeah, another nice addition. Here we have quite an unusual set of accessories from what I've seen anyway. We have 10 picture frames to decorate the dollhouse. Um, some of them are framed in silver frames, like pewter coloured. We have nice floral designs. Some are in gold frames. Some of them are like a nice abstract art. Some of them or doubles. Some of them have people in them that you could maybe say that they were photographs of, you know, of the doll's family or whatever you want to do. There's quite a few floral ones and a few doubles amongst here. Mixed colours of frames and like I said we have 10 here and they came in priced at £2.10. and ten pence. Next up we have this little mini fridge from the box. It looks like a Sylvanian family type item. It is not Sylvanian family branded, but probably branded for a similar type of item. Um, I got it to see if it could be used as a mini fridge for a doll's bedroom or an apartment. Or I do have a doll caravan, a vintage Cindy caravan that I want to revamp and refurbish. And I was thinking maybe a mini fridge um, for that would be good. And yeah, this would work really well. We have an opening door with a little shelf inside, a drawer that pulls out. And this fridge was £3.50. It comes with 13 accessories. Some of them are cardboard that we can build up into 
little food boxes and then we have milk and yogurt and ice cream and three little jars as well i'm not just going to open these at the moment but really good value lots of accessories there and a really cute little mini fridge that yes will work as a miniature fridge for three pounds and fifty pence next up i got some breakfast food trays i got two of each design so i'm just going to open one of each design to show you here what was in each and these came in priced at one pound and 26 pence each we have a nice sturdy plastic white tray we have coffee to go and what's in this other little bag we have a cute little sandwich with ham and looks like cheese and lettuce so a sandwich and a coffee that could be maybe a lunch tray so the other option I got here has, again, has the tray in there. Why are these bags always so hard to open? <laughs> so we have the little tray again. And in another bag, I never know why we need so many bags, but anyway. In another bag we have a slice of toast with a fried egg on top. We have a miniature coffee cup. We have an egg cup with an egg to go in the egg cup. And a miniature fork. So yeah, lots of little accessories. We could do a lunch or a breakfast and these were £1.26 each. And I've just found a little knife here as well that just fell out of the packet. So the fried egg, sorry, the boiled egg one came with, what is it, bo boiled egg and a fried egg? <laughs> came with a knife and a fork, so really cute. So this item is eyelashes these are not meant for dolls but I, that's what I'm thinking of using them for the listing says there's 144 clusters and um, 9 to 16 millimeters they're quite small as you can see they come with an applicator and some bonding glue and I'm not going to open these right now but I do intend to do a video to see how these would work on the dolls this is my intention to give my dolls eyelashes and this set came in price at four pounds so yeah i look forward to giving that a go and subscribe if you want to see what way that works out in a future video so this is all my items today from my miniature haul from sheen i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment or emoji below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon if you would like the chance of a shout out comment below hashtag doll miniverse see you in the next one bye